Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, December 31st, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. New Year's Eve. An M7.1 moderate duration solar flare with CME is headed directly towards Earth. We could see G3 geomagnetic storm on the 3rd of January. Buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. And happy new year. Hopefully you've made a new year's resolution to improve your state of living for 2026, which is fast approaching, folks. We hope you had a wonderful 2025. We wish you the best in the coming new year. Heavy snow and strong winds and extreme chill sweeps from the Midwest to the East Coast like a beast. Here we can see New Yorkers cleaning off his car after a snowstorm over the weekend. And that means a nasty New Year's weather. Yeah, with all the snow on the ground and a cold front coming in, it's going to be nasty for the ball drop New Year's Eve in Manhattan. As well as California's Rose Parade. Incoming New Year's storm in Cali renews flood and debris flow threats, including evacuations. An evacuation warning this morning. For the city of L.A., possible debris flows in effect from 11 a.m. today. Prepare for possible evacuations in many regions. And they do have a map here. So much of the area here in, by the Santa Monica Mountains. And we have a region here south of L.A., south of the Angeles National Forest for debris flows as well. So heed those warnings. And if evacuation Warnings are, have been issued. Get out of Dodge. You don't want to be buried in debris. Snow squalls may impact New Year's Eve travel from the Great Lakes to the Mid-Atlantic. Heavy rain and isolated severe thunderstorms in Southern California. These tan regions here in New York State and PA are a special warning for heavy snow squalls over, uh, overnight. Snow squalls are likely to cross the lower Great Lakes this evening in the Ohio Valley through the interior northeast, northern mid-Atlantic overnight before potentially reaching the I-95 corridor from D.C. to New York early New Year's Day morning. Heavy rain and isolated severe thunderstorms will impact coastal Southern California, including L.A. tonight and into early on New Year's Day. Heed the warnings. Uh, if there are evacuation orders in Southern Cali, get out of Dodge. Frost and freeze warnings all the way down towards Miami. Whew. Including regions uh, where my brother lives here, like Bonita Beach. Holy macaroni. It's going to be chilly. Tornado HQ showing some heavy bands of snow moving off the Great Lakes and even affecting Long Island. So it could be spicy for the ball drop. These are heavy bands of snow. Ho, ho, ho. Al Gore would not be pleased. Shut up, Al! Get in your hole! No bud cake tonight. It's going to be a tough New Year's for Al Gore. Here is the current state of the GFS model. We'll walk it through. There's, those are those snow squalls moving through. Sporadic at best, but by tomorrow, they should be offshore while that second system in the West will be moving onshore and affecting the Four Corners region as early as Thursday into Friday. Good news there. We need the snow in a big way. Let's take a look at total accumulated precipitation for some flooding threats. Not really. Total snowfall. And we'll walk it through the new year here. Good news. Here we are. January 1st. January 2nd. Heavy snow in the west. January 3rd. Another system moves onshore there, bringing heavy snow to the Sierras through the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. 13th, and now we're way out on the models, but a good snowpack developing for the West in the first two weeks of the new year. Good news there. Like swimwear. This town hit minus 55.7 C, Canada's coldest temperature in 50 years, and it just happened. Brayburn experienced a depth of cold that has never been known in most of the world's countries. Even if as parts of the United States experience unseasonably warm holidays, grand solar minimum much, other areas extreme cold. And we predicted this over a decade ago, and it's now what is unfolding before your very lives. Some corners of Canada are hitting extremes of cold not seen since the 1970s. 
On December 23rd, a weather monitor monitoring station in Brayburn, Yukon, recorded a temperature reading an astonishing minus 55.7 degrees Celsius, the lowest December temperature charted in Canada since 1975. For context, it isn't too far off the average temperature on the surface of Mars. How do you like them apples? Chilly ones, indeed. A magnitude 4.9 earthquake struck Northern California and many aftershocks are keeping people, well, in a state of panic. Susanville, California, a magnitude 4.9 was recorded near the town today in Lassen County, according to the U.S. Ge Geological Survey. The quake was centered around nine miles northwest of Susanville. Actually, it was yesterday evening, 9 p.m. It was downgraded from initial 5.3. We'll get to the details now. Several aftershocks have, oh, well, just one aftershock. So initially a 5.3 downgraded to 4.9, and now a 2.5 uh, emanating from that region. Overall, pretty low-level activity worldwide. We did have a pretty big rumbler in Japan at a 6.0 with multiple aftershocks happening there, but that's pretty normal activity. 5.0 in the Philippines and a 5.4 in the Banda Sea. Now you see me. Worldwide Volcano News for New Year's Eve, the last day of 2025. We've got Languila to 7,000 feet, Raventador to 16,000 feet, Santa Guito to 13,000 feet, Semeru, an eruption was reported, Fuego to 15,000. We've got Ibu puffing and passing, Raventador to 16,000, Ducona to 7,000 feet, Popo to 19,000 feet, Santa Guito to 13,000 feet. Wrapping up Worldwide Volcano News for the day. And a strong solar flare in CME today is headed for Earth following today's M7 class solar flare from sunspot 3424. Here we can see NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory ca capturing the explosion in extreme ultraviolet light. That was at 1350 UTC. There's the flare in question coming in at M7.1. KP currently at 2. Three-day geomagnetic forecast showing increasing storming from multiple coronal mass ejections headed our way. Anytime now, we should be entering the first of the stream. A quick look at uh, telemetry here shows really no evidence of any coronal mass ejections occurring yet, but we'll keep a close eye on that for you as we're waiting for some spicy space weather in the first three days of 2026. How do you like them apples? And we can take a quick look at the CME here, the M7.1. Pretty massive. Most of it going out to the northeast here. But WSA Enlil Spiral is showing it headed our way. So we have the earlier flares here leaving on the 29th and then the flare um, on the 31st. And that one is a little thicker and it looks like it's going to be smashing directly into us on the 3rd. Cross your fingers for some fireworks because the sun is going to be full. This year's first meteor shower and supermoon and geomagnetic storm will clash in the January skies. This year's first supermoon, meteor shower, and geomagnetic storm will compete for dominance with the supermoon. This year's first supermoon uh, will sync up in January with a meteor shower and a geomagnetic storm. And light from one may dim the other. That's the bad news there. The quadrantids peak Friday night into Saturday morning, according to the American Meteor Society. In dark skies during the peak, sky gazers typically can see 25 meteors per hour. But this time, they'll likely glimpse less than 10 due to light from Saturday's supermoon. The biggest enemy of enjoying a meteor shower or a geomagnetic storm, an aurora, is the full moon. And so... Everything may be aligning to negate the aurora and the quadrantids. So bad news for the beginning of the new year. Good news if you want the fastest high-speed internet using satellites, it's Starlink, bar none, and it's now free. You can get a free Starlink unit with just as little as $80 a month for service if you qualify. Type in your service address if you qualify for the fastest high-speed internet on a satellite in the entire world. There is almost never an outage. We've had it for almost seven years now, and it's only been down for like three hours in seven years. 
How do you like them internets? Go get it. And that is a boom. Most important, happy new year. We love you. Be safe. Enjoy the new year safe. Subscribe to the channel. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. And that is a happy new year boom. New, new, new.